Log on to NASCAR.com to play the AutoTrader.com Move of the Race sweepstakes for your chance to win a $25,000 shopping spree on AutoTrader.com and other great prizes. 22 to go in the Pennsylvania 500 presented by Pep Boys. Dale Earnhardt Jr. has opened up nearly a two-second lead on Johnny Benson, who's trying to hold on to second. Bobby Labonte's pressuring him. And you've got Tony Stewart and Bill Elliott rounding out the top five. Ricky Rudd is in ninth. Jeff Gordon is in twelfth. Marty Snyder is with the owner of the third and fourth place cars. And Coach Joe Gibbs doing his best coaching job. And you got you guys are trying to catch Dale Earnhardt Jr. Can they get there, Coach? Well, I don't know if we can or not. All I've been doing is holding my breath over here. I can tell you that. I am nervous. That's the worst part, isn't it? <laughs> That's right. That's exactly right. Lord's blessings the two great teams. We'll see what happens here. Hey, I got good news. Bobby just got second. Hey, that's, hey, that's great. I'm ready to go. <laughs> All right, he's ready to go because he's nervous and he's doing his best coaching job, although he can't really do much here on the sidelines. Different role than when he was in football. Jimmy Maycar is the coach now, and Greg Zipidelli, the coach for Tony Stewart. Joe gives him the resources and the players and has to stand back and see how they perform. Just like Jack Kent Cook did with the Washington Redskins. Bobby to second. The interval, 2.2 seconds. 21 laps to go. Now 20 to go. I guess that I know some of these cars are going to make it on fuel. My guess is some of them are not. So I'm not worried. I, I'm not sure who that's going to be. Think about all the things we've had happen in this race in the last hour or so. We've had the man who is leading the points by virtue of the tiebreaker coming into today's race, taken out in a crash, then crashes again and finished off for the day. That's Dale Jarrett. He's going to finish 41st. We've had Jeff Gordon choose his team to take four tires on a pit stop when everybody else on the lead lap about just got fuel. Fortunate for Gordon that they had the cut tire and they would have needed it, but he's way back in 20-something, 23rd position when they restarted, and he's hung in traffic. Ricky Rudd's been one of the dominant players today. He's hung back in traffic in ninth spot, and you got the guy leading the race, may not have enough fuel to make it to the finish. There, Jeff Gordon goes by and takes two spots. Well, I'm not sure, too sure about the 17. He has, oh, he just can't quite make it, and Craven's coming back on the outside. <laughs> He's trying to get 12 from Kenzie. Never see Ricky Rudd, Jeff Gordon. Ricky Rudd right now is almost two seconds in front of Jeff Gordon. And look at Kenseth go through the tunnel corner side by side with Ricky Craven. And here comes a one car on the inside of Jeff Gordon trying to take away another spot. Todd Morine has retired his car from the race. The laps he lost earlier with the transmission problem, he can't gain any more positions by finishing the event. He is done. Kurt Busch and Hutch Strickland have just come back onto the track from the garage. Only Dale Jarrett, Kevin LePage, and Todd Bodine are out of it. Everybody else is on the track in the final laps. Watching the race for 12th, Kenseth, Craven, Gordon, Steve Park. The seven car, the first one on the left of the frame, that's Mike Wallace. He's in 26. He's the first car two laps down. Dave Blaney, third car in the picture. you got Robert Presley and Ricky Rudd here racing for eighth and ninth, and Blaney running in tenth. Remember, way back early in the event, we talked about him losing a cylinder. It fixed itself. Unbelievable. The car, all of a sudden, after the first pit stop, started running again. He, but he had gone from about fifth all the way back to about 25th or 30th before that first stop. And here he comes, back through traffic. He's in the top 10. Good run for Blaney. That team's sponsor leaving them at the end of the season. They're looking for a replacement. I'm told that during one of those pit stops, they raised the hood and a plug wire was off. They just put it back on. Then he had eight cylinders, and he's good to go. All right, that's a further updated report. We had heard the last report we got was that it had just sort of fixed itself. So that explains why. That's hard for an engine to fix yeah, itself. <laughs> Our final commercial break of the race. Back for the exciting finish of the Pennsylvania 500 by Pep Boys. After this, will Dale Jr.'s fuel hold out? And welcome back.
Welcome back to Pocono Raceway, where Dale Earnhardt Jr. leads with under 15 laps to go in the Pennsylvania 500, presented by Pep Boys. It wasn't that long ago, earlier this month, when Dale Earnhardt Jr. made his trip back to victory lane. It was a day and a night at Daytona that we will never forget. Junior coming around to get the checkered flag, and then the celebration began. Winning at the track, where his father lost his life earlier this year. The big celebration in the same spot in the infield grass, met by Michael Waltrip and gas man Chocolate Meyer Myers. Youthful enthusiasm and tremendous talent. That's what Dale Earnhardt Jr. brings to NASCAR Winston Cup Racing. Now he hopes to take that talent and his team to victory lane at Pocono. Alan? If he looks in the rearview mirror, Bill, Bobby Labonte's Pontiac is looming a little bit larger. There we see Bobby Labonte two seconds behind Dale Earnhardt Jr. And the 93 car of Blaney gets by Ricky Rudd, takes a spot away. Ninth place for Dave Blaney. What has been so amazing to me is the reversal of fortunes of Jeff Gordon and Ricky Rudd. These are the two guys that led the most laps in this race. Gordon has led 121 laps. But after getting back in traffic, he has been able to go nowhere. He must be struggling with a big arrow push with that car. It's the only thing I can think of because he was so fast, so much faster than everybody else when he was out front. But see right here, he can't even move up on the back of those cars because I don't think his car can turn when he gets it close to the 32 car. The 17 and 32 of the 17 Matt Kenseth, the 32 Ricky Craven, they have just simply driven away from Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon is back in 14th spot, Matt. Alan, we talked about it during the caution. Gordon has been fighting tight over this past run, and they debated about pinning to try to fix that condition, but he didn't want to give up track position. He's had such a difficult time going through traffic. He's mired back in 14th right now. He's lost two positions. He says, yes, indeed, he does have an arrow push. He does get a, a worse condition. He has gained one position back, but he does have that arrow push when he tucks up behind the car in front of him. That's 13th place for Gordon. And Blaney and Rudd going to tag team Robert Presley for eighth. Boy, that can really get that inside car loose when it comes off that corner with a car on the outside of him. And Rudd had the pedal back off just a little bit and feathered. And looked like the 77 of Presley was going to come back. But now Rudd again assumes the position in front of Robert Presley. Jimmy Spencer, that 26 car, was making a good run. He was back there with Jeff Gordon a few minutes ago. See here where Jimmy, Jimmy chooses to go to the 77, which is surprising, really, because the inside lane is really the lane you want to be in side by side in turn two. Presley driving in on the outside of turn two, the tunnel corner. Rudd's just got to be more conservative than Presley does at this point, championship-wise. It's just got to be. Oh, oh, Spencer comes down, almost gets on the inside of Ricky Rudd. Here you go, three wide. Watch Spencer get out on the inside. Right to block. See, now they'll draft by the 77 car. That was the best thing Jimmy could do. All this again for ninth spot. I'll tell you what, 77 is pretty strong out he there. He is strong. He's been coming around for that team. Oh, Jimmy gets up, going to push to 77 now. All that side-by-side -side racing has kind of made a, a little bit of a blob there in traffic. Gordon going to get into the middle of this. He's on the inside of the 17 car. Kenseth trying to take the spot away. Jimmy Spencer trying to get by the 28 up Rudd. We're inside the final 10 laps. In the Pennsylvania 500 presented by Pep oh, Boys. Hang on, Gordon. Jeff had that big slide going in the flat corner. Rudd to oh. oh, contact Rudd and Spencer. They just brushed together. It looks like it. off the corner. And the 28 lost the air on the nose here, and he just slid up right into the 26 car. Not very hard, though. 